Alright, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Um, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's 11 15 24. Do you see this? That's clear blue skies up there. That's right. We haven't gotten any significant rain, and I'm talking about New York, um, really since the end of August. And it's absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, it was pouring rain when I was out that night when this incident happened. Pouring. And then for the next two days after that, uh, it was raining even harder. And then it just stopped. You know, uh, it, it, the weather, we haven't gotten any rain at all. At all. Uh, yeah, maybe a fucking quick storm here and there. But all in all, we've gotten no significant rain. We are in a drought. Here in New York at this time, which is not unusual, but this drought is very unusual because it there there should be ice out there right now. I mean, you know, the temperature is about right; it's about forty-five, whatever. But there should be something. Something should be going on, and nothing is. And it's just absolutely incredible. I checked the fifteen-day forecast; nothing in that forecast at all. Nothing at all since they made the. Uh, records for weather, I believe it was 1885, somewhere around there, we, New York State, has broken the record. <laughs> 2025. Hmm. I should investigate those numbers a little bit more. A couple things. Um, today's a Friday. I like to give... Uh, people something to think about over the weekend, just in case if I'm able to uh, put a video out. Um, this disturbs me, okay? And it always has. Um, you know, I, I'm talking about the people that are fighting us, and when you go out and you talk about Flat Earth and you're at a bar. I mean, at this point, Flat Earthers, we just can't go out anymore. I mean, we can't take people seriously, you know? I mean, I'm sitting in front of somebody who thinks that he lives on a spinning wet ball. He thinks, or she thinks, that water, somehow or another, can uh, form a ball into this mysterious dream world, Walt Disney World planet, you know, and, and be in space... And I, I mean, it just, I, I can't take people seriously, you know, I, 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 I just can't. I'm sorry. I can't. All right. I just can't. So flat earthers, I don't know. I, you know, go out, enjoy yourselves. But what I'm saying is there's nothing you can do. It's always going to be a show for you. When I first, in college, when I first, um, I think it was my freshman year, I took, uh, sociology <laughs> and I remember one of his first tests was and this is before I was a flat earther I, I dreamed you know all of this too myself unfortunately um, and um, you know the first I think the, the first thing that he that he told us to do is just go out to a bar sit at a bar don't say anything uh, don't drink just sit there and observe Okay, and that, that was the sociology class, and, and I mean, there was a lot of other things, too, involved with it, but I mean, I, I just, I actually liked that professor, because I, I continued a um, uh, relationship with him throughout the, uh, um, my, my tender at, at school, but um, he, he had quite a sense of humor, but anyway, I wasn't a flat earther back then, so I couldn't really tell him what I believe. See, once you become a flat earther, that's it. You're done, okay? Um, there's no going back. Uh, ever. <laughs> ever. Uh, you just can't. Anyway. Uh, I lost my train of fucking thought. Kind of. Oh, okay. All right. So, what disturbs me? Um is the fact that we, 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 as a species, have not even dug down more than eight and a half miles, okay? These people that we speak to believe that we have layers of earth underneath this, and there's a core down there. Well, you see, now that's funny, because I, I, I've never seen that. I've never seen anybody even prove that to anybody at all. 
the only thing that I've seen is a hole in the ground and the Russians, I believe, did it. It wasn't even us uh, saying that he, they, can't, can, they can't go down any further. It's too hot or whatever it was. And then there's one video that says there's demons or something like that. Yeah, well, if you dig a hole eight and a half miles, you're going to hear something, okay? I mean, the sound refracts up. It's going to sound weird, I'm sure. You ever you ever throw, uh, let me ask you a question. You ever throw a stone down one of those uh, wells, you know, those steel pipes that are coming up, um, and hear that pebble go all the way down? You know, it, that sounds weird. Now, could you imagine that at eight and a half miles, okay? God only knows. And a furnace that's underneath us. You know, I, I, I'm I'm assuming that's what's underneath us, you know, but we don't know. We don't know. We, and we'll never know because we can't dig down that far. And it's a waste of time to even discuss it. OK, but the fact is that when I'm sitting in front of somebody who's not a flat earther and I, I just can't take him seriously, you know, I, I, I can't anymore. Um, I, I just I, I don't I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm at you know I mean look go out and enjoy yourself. I, I don't know what to do because we're getting going up to the silly season now at this point. And um, if most of you out there that are watching me have families, you know, um, and and they're healthy and and you're gonna go see them, just keep your mouth shut. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's all you can do. You're not going to explain to them exactly everything that you've learned over all of these years at a dinner. Okay? You just can't. Because the minute you come up with it, they're going to ridicule you. And they're going to fight you. And they're going to tell you that you live on a ball. That everything is true. That we went to the moon, but they don't understand what the hell they're living on. They don't understand the radius of Earth, okay? They don't understand the curvature. They don't understand anything. It's in in their head. They, they can't get it out. Fuck. I don't know, man. I, I just don't know what to do with these... You know, people, uh, I mean, yeah, people are coming out, you know, or I guess some people are believing that the earth is flat, but I'm, I'm just, I'm not seeing it as I thought I would see it after all of these years. You know, they're, they're still not doing any research, but they can't do any research because Google has suppressed everything. Okay. I mean, they have. They've suppressed everything. You cannot go and look up Flat Earth now. Doesn't that open up a door for anybody at all? Doesn't that somebody say, that doesn't make any sense. Why would Google do anything like this? Why would Facebook do anything like this? Why would Twitter do anything like this? You know, free speech, that's gone. That's gone. It's all gone. I can't tell you what really went on during COVID. Am I even allowed to say that word anymore? Who knows? But I can't. I can't tell you about that, okay? I can't tell you about the presidency that just happened. I can't tell you anything about it. I could say, hey, rah, rah, Trump is president again. Great, great. Maybe things will get back to normal, or maybe they might not. Who knows? <laughs> um, let's get into that real quick. So Trump is now president again. Once again, he's president, okay? And I'm sure everybody got a good night's sleep that night, uh, knowing that things should go back to normal to what it originally was, gas prices and all that other stuff, and everything will come down. And I told you, the only, th it's really simple. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to bring all the fucking prices down. You bring the gas prices down because everything is fucking shipped in from God knows where, you know, and that's why everything is so expensive. Don't give me any bullshit about inflation and this other fucking nonsense. These mother fucking politician, these bullshit politicians, career politicians are, have been lying to you. They're there to make fucking money. Okay? Obama had nothing when he first went into office. Now, mansions. He bought fucking Magnum P.I.'s house. You know, I mean, that's a shame. That's a shame. Destroyed it, too, and, and turned it into his little mansion. So if you ever want to, you know, do a little history thing and, 
and take some pictures of old um, Magnum PI's, uh, you know, place out there. Well, now you're out of luck. Uh, Obama took care of that. But I'm just saying, this is how polit these are how politicians are. <laughs> They're fucking liars. They're all liars. <clears throat> They're in there for the buck. They get pocket lined. They change everything that they said that they were going to do. And it just happens over and over and over again. And people don't even see that. You know, maybe they have now. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason why Trump got in there. But I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm still I'm not really convinced people are really there yet. You know, on some things they are, but not not flat earth yet. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm not I'm not seeing it yet. I'm not I'm maybe it's like a feeling I have. Okay? That's what it is. It's it's like a feeling I have. <clears throat> um However, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is hope for some of these people, but some of them are NPCs and there's just no hope of turning them ever around at all. <laughs> I mean, they're just done. Uh, they're programmed internally, I think. I, I, I mean, it's just like there's no way of getting through to them. There's some people that are out there that you speak to that are just so difficult to break through that um, indoctrination that they have. They just, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to listen to it. And whether they even think it's true or not, they won't do any research with it because they can't. You know, everything is, is has been suppressed. Everything is gone. Um, all of it. You know, meanwhile, they're telling us about meteors. They're telling us about the fucking stars that are light years away. And, and wh whatever happened to Beetlejuice? Do you hear Beetlejuice anymore? What about go? Uh, what about Diddy? <laughs> what about all that shit? All that stuff in August and, and uh, in July? Nothing anymore, huh? All gone. What about the war? Oh, oh. Can't even mention that here. I could talk about Beetlejuice, I could talk about Diddy, but I can't mention about what's going on overseas. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, whatever happened to that? Is, is that all over now? Well, I guess it is, huh? Uh, you see, now, it, it's, it, it really, it, it's, this is, this is how it is, man. This is why everything is a fucking lie. It's all bullshit. It's there to keep you controlled. Okay, that's all it is. And that's all it's ever going to be. As long as these people still sit there and think that they live on this imaginary fucking Walt Disney world of shit, that they can get away with this stuff. I heard all the bigger networks are having problems. Really? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, you know, every nursing home, that's the fucking first thing you see on Every single TV, when you go to a nursing home, go in there, and when you're passing down the hallway and you see other other residents in there, just peek in, see what they're, what they're looking at. They're all on MSNBC. They're all on those fucking brainwashing networks, you know, throughout the entire country, all right? How many nursing homes are there alone here in New York? Now, times that by all the other states here in this country, there you go. <laughs> I mean, that's their ratings right there. You know, they don't know what the hell they're watching. They, they could care less. It's just on. I used to do that with the Weather Channel. But then Verizon came by and said, fuck you. We're going to kill the Weather Channel. That was the only thing I could watch anymore at one, at one point. Now, I can't even watch that. So the TV doesn't even go on. When I was in the hospital, they said, would you like your card? I was like, for what? For, for your TV privileges. And I was like, my TV privileges? You can take my TV privileges and go fuck yourself. Because I'm not even turning that goddamn thing on. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, I mean this. This is this is bullshit. It's all nonsense. All of this. All of the politicians. All of the fucking sports. I've been saying this for fucking years. Okay, people can't even see the fucking chemtrails up there, for crying out loud. I mean, they can't even see a fucking plane spraying and making clouds and then completely graying out everything here. They can't even see that. 
Okay, until they fucking open their eyes to that, they're not even close to flat Earth. Not even close. Now you know, laugh and giggle and, and do whatever you're gonna do, you know, during your holiday season, you know. But you know deep down that the Earth is flat, that we're stationary, that all of this is bullshit, and they have to control billions of people, and they're doing a fantastic job. Okay, all of this shit is fake. Everything, I'm talking about the riots, I'm talking about everything that you see on the news, it's all fake. Unless if there's a cat stuck up in a tree, maybe I'll believe it. But that's about it. <laughs> that's the extent of it. And that's what I know. And unfortunately, waking up people at this point has become difficult. Yeah. It really has. It's not easy, but they're out there. Some of them are eager. You know, we have the Flat Earth app. That's out there. Remember, don't forget about my code when you go on that. Blue Water Bay is the only one who makes that. Flat Earth Zodiac app. I keep forgetting the freaking name of it, but it doesn't matter. You know, you'll find it. Just make sure you click the one that, that's on Blue Water Bay, okay? Those are the people who made that. Um, and don't forget my code, CC911. That's right. Anyway, there you'll find everything you need to find out. And that's the only place you're going to be able to find it out now. I, I don't, I have no faith in Twitter. I don't think that's even happening at this point. Uh, and, and, and Elon even have anything to do with the presidency? Oh my God, Jesus. Lord, that's like a fucking whole other hour video at this point. Uh, he has done nothing. He's produced dick. Okay? He's done nothing. Where's the supersonic railroad out in China? Or where, 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 where did that go? Huh? Where, where, where's Mars? Shouldn't we be at Mars or at least on our way to Mars or practicing to get there? Oh, no, I think he's selling SpaceX, right? Oh, that's a shame, guys. Hey, ballers, SpaceX is now disappearing. I think, uh, who, who the fuck is going to buy it? Uh, I, I forget. It, it's it's just an ongoing thing. They, they're, they're not going anywhere. You'll never go anywhere. And you'll see that when you get older. You'll see that we are never going anywhere because we can't. We are covered with a dome. God created everything around here, and God loves you. And you are not an insignificant little speck of dust out there. You have a reason for being here. What that reason is, I have no idea. You have to find it out. That's the whole reason why you're here. That's why all of this has been created. And that's why you're here. I thank you for subbing. I thank you for viewing my videos. Let me be a part of your life.